How's it going guys? Welcome back to Worse Than Death. This is Chapter 6, A Terrible Tragedy, taking place at 3.05 a.m. Isn't 3.05 like the witching hour? 3 something in the morning is the witching hour. I finally made it. It's already after 3 in the morning, but the note that said something was set to go down earlier tonight. I have to find out what was supposed to happen here. It might be the only way I can find Flynn again. It's a work schedule for the mill. Among the names here, I recognize Jack's as well as Grace's father's. It's hard to read, but it looks like the manager of most of these shifts was named Forrester. Forrester Tabor, I think. It doesn't look like Jack was getting many shifts. He's hardly on the schedule at all. Probably because he's dead. Wow, that was, uh, sudden. <laughs> it was just, I saw the little pop-up. There we go. I'm trying to check that. The table's covered in leftover donuts and dirty coffee mugs. Quick, die! Dive under the table. We gotta run away from that. It's too spooky. <laughs> Looks like there was a struggle here. Some of the mugs are broken. There's stale coffee dripping on the floor. Ooh, did someone crack a coffee pot over someone else's head? The door is locked tight and covered in scratch marks. Mm, it's making me painfully aware of how empty my own coffee it is. Jack's work locker. It's stuffed full of old work boots and clothes. There are some empty pill bottles at the bottom in a plastic bag. You normally pick up every individual little thing you see. You gonna leave that one behind? Don't want to investigate the potential pills? This must be the main floor. Feels a little chilly in here. Ooh, does it now? There's a blood splatter on the wall, like something is slammed up against it. Um, you just, you just write off the chills sometimes. Seems like the chills have been your number one indicator of monsters nearby. And half the time you're like, ooh, cold. I don't care. Neatly stacked wood here is covered in scratches. Why is why is so many things? It's so, so scratchy during your investigation. Every little thing has got scratch marks all over it. I like to investigate like the, the layout of the, the main room before I check the individual ones. Alright, this is a massive area. I gotta I gotta go back and start trying to check doors. I bet half of them are locked anyways. First set. Shut with a remote lock of some kind, it feels extremely cold to the touch. Something scratched into the metal of the door. Three red robins. The first waits for all the other birds. The second attacks the first. The third, third moves only after his opponent. Just take a quick screenshot of that when that inevitably comes back up again. Something scratched into this one as, all, as well. Three blue days, the first retaliates immediately, the second makes no move, the third follows the first's orders. Ah, uh, alright, I gotta set up a file where I take notes on birds, I guess. And this one doesn't, I don't see any scratches, looks old and rusted, yeah, nothing, nothing <gasps> scraped on that guy. So, I guess I could only go the one way anyways, <laughs> so far. Looks like some kind of beat up old control panel. Maybe something here will let me access more of the mill. How the hell am I supposed to know what to do? Okay, all right, well immediately I'm seeing that it's, you know, the, the clue or whatever is immediately relevant. Oh, uh, there, I, I managed to get mouse control. That'll be much easier for me. Three red robins. The first waits for all the other birds. The second one attacks first. The third moves only after his opponent. Okay, and and the first is the first one is last. Sunny, <laughs> what the hell's Skrillex's name? Sunny, whatever from first to last. Terrible joke. Couldn't quite tie the reference together. And then three blue jays. First retaliates immediately. The second makes no move. The third follows the first's orders. And like start or something. Is that not confirm? Is that not done? It says the second makes no move. Do I have to? Oh, maybe I have to crisscross between them all. Yeah, I'm starting to think that it's it's slightly more complicated than I'm giving it credit for. Like I have to factor in all of the birds. The second one attacks uh, first. The first of these retaliates immediately. The first one waits for all the other birds, so not that one. This guy moves only after his opponent, so that might be time. The third follows first's orders. 
So that might come in order there. So I, I'm going to try this first. Uh, the third, and then the third, and the first. No, not quite. Second first, this guy retaliates immediately. Those two I'm confident in. So maybe this one goes next. And he only moves after his opponent. And he goes last. There it is. That was, that was the right combo. It sounded like that did something. Who comes up with these notes for operating hospitals and lumber mills and things? It's just nonsense to me. <laughs> a little excessive. Wow, it looks like somebody went, like a body went through the sawmill. Looks like this panel contains some kind of security shutoff equipment. I can probably access it, but the front door has been shut tight with two locks. Just give them a yank. Just tug those boys open. Just give them a quick check. Call up the lock-picking lawyer. You're gonna hide? Okay, under there. I thought you were gonna crawl into the pile of bloody logs. Jesus Christ. Just rolled off there. Weird. The lumber that's stuck here on the conveyor looks half frozen. It's covered in ice crystals. Blood crystals? There's something sticky on the wood, like sap. The whole thing smells stale. Yeah, you're right. It's probably just sap. After everything we've seen tonight, it's probably just sap. It's a torn piece of a work uniform. It must be... have been stuck under some of the wood on the conveyor. There's a name tag on it. It says Forster Tabor. Oh, poor Mr. Tabor. He was a corny man. Damn, the chute's completely clogged with uncut lumber. I won't be able to get out that way. Okay, but what did actually... Un this probably opened up all those other doors that we didn't have access to. So we should be able to move around much more freely. Oh no, one of those things is here now. Oh shit, yeah, I don't know if there's much hiding places either. Uh, gotta book it. Oh, crap, that one's locked. Uh, okay, time for a quick hide. I, okay, it was it was a little bit further away. I probably, if he, we were going opposite directions, though, I doubt I would have been able to make it to, uh, to safety. All right, I'll be able to sneak up behind him. Oh, I accidentally tapped run for a ninth of a second. The switch worked, I can go through. But luckily, it was also when jumping over a thing, so it didn't didn't actually properly initiate a run, or else I would have been caught. The microwave has definitely seen better days, but I think it still works. I don't know if this could cook anything reliably, but it should at least heat something up, at least. Did she say that twice, or was that just my dumb reading? Uh, I see nothing worth heating up just yet. There's been numerous mentions of it being cold here, though, so I'll have to thaw something. Ugh, kitchen counter's a complete mess. Let's write a passive-aggressive note about how people need to clean up their messes. Dirty napkin with some marks on it has been stuck to the wall. It just looks like a coffee ring stain. You know, doesn't really look like much of anything. One of the lockers is open. It belonged to Grace's father. His name is on the door. Inside, there's a photo of several of the mill workers, including Jack. He's been circled in black marker. There's a note scribbled on the back. He's the one you want. I'm not going to bother with the uppercase, lowercase letter thing. If it mattered, they wouldn't have made it so that uh, you could only check those notes once in the previous locker, and they wouldn't have made it in a section of the game that you don't go back to. So I'm I'm not I'm gonna stop writing that down. I had written down like 20 letters. It was obviously too much for a puzzle. Hey, there's an old key in here. Everything is rusty or bloody. Nothing is maintained well in this world. There's a number of official-looking reports and notices on the table. Most of them are about Jack. They mention he's causing trouble at work, showing up late, often being in a disorderly state. They're all signed by the floor manager, Forrester Tabor. Seems like Jack really was the screw-up Flynn said he was. Yeah, maybe don't rag on the guy right now, okay? Kick him while he's dead, you know? <laughs> not, the, not the best tact. This old TV looks pretty busted up, but I think the channel buttons still work. Can we just... Is there no puzzle here? You just flick channels? Oh, no. There was something there. Okay. Interesting little grid. Obviously, I need to write that down. And by puzzle, I mean I don't need to do, like, a weird sequence of channels or anything like that. The puzzle is in, in the... What is being shown on these. Which... This is either the uh, some experimental new programming... Or there's, like, a camera somewhere in this mill that's pointing towards that, right? Okay, that's the, that's the only relevant thing there. My picture of it is terrible. 
I, it seems like it would be not the sort of thing that you could do a bad job drawing. I really did. It really doesn't look good. It does not... Oh, God. Uh, can he just go right over top of those boxes? Takes me a lot of effort to leap over those. Nah, he didn't. He's turned around and kept going the other way. Damn, 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 damn. <laughs> okay, there he is. I, I got moving a little too quickly there. Should be able to access this. It's open now. Good, good, good. Holy crap, the room feels so cold. Like the inside of a walk-in freezer. Even in the cold, I can smell something off. Like old meat. Probably gonna have to collect something here that needs to get microwaved. There's a pile of lumber here that's been hastily cut. It's stained dark and has a disgusting, almost sweet smell to it. See, that's more likely to be sap. <laughs> The whole wall looks like it's been frozen solid. There's ice crystals everywhere. It's starting to melt now, but it's almost as if the room was flash frozen like a bag of vegetables. Something feels different than before. Those things always feel cold, but this is much more intense. Can't help but feel a sense of anger in here. It's unsettling. You've felt that a few times at this point. Jeez. It's a large industrial saw for cutting lumber and it's completely covered in blood. Some of the blood is still dripping, but it's thick like syrup. I think it's because of how cold it is in here. What is this? One of the sawmill workers was pushed into the blade of this industrial saw? There's half-frozen pieces everywhere. But I can't tell who this is. The man's uniform has a large spot torn out of it. Wait a minute. His hand looks like it's still holding on to something. It's frozen shut, though. Oh, this is disgusting. But if I can somehow thaw out his hand... Maybe I can see what it is. Oh, it's more of the arm than I was expecting there to be. Gross! Some nasty shit. The conveyor belt here brings in lumber from another room to be cut here. But it's jammed. It's jammed with body parts and blood and a bunch of things that it was never built to cut. I mean, it's not to say it's bad at cutting them. It just wasn't really what it was meant for. Saws are, saws are gonna be saws, you know? It's never gonna do particularly bad at its job. Do I push it? No, I hear him. I hear him coming. I was gonna I was gonna vault and keep moving. Ah, uh, I know he takes his sweet ass time. I could've I could've ran for it for sure. Yeah, I'm just going. Sneaking straight through. Should have just done that immediately. <laughs> Hopefully he can't hear the microwave. I'm gonna thaw out my little mitt here. It's funny the little icon to go along with it. it looks like a little boxer's glove. Sure, if that's what you need to tell yourself to not to see it as absolutely disgusting. Hand just fits inside. Ugh, it's gonna be gross when it starts rotating. Time to thaw this thing out. I guess I just turn the dial and push the button. What temperature should I set it to? I I don't want the thing to explode on me. Do you think it would? That's gross. I'm gonna go middle. I wonder if I could explode it if I cranked it up to max. It's almost worth trying. It's totally worth trying. It could be ridiculous in a fun way. Aw, oh, does it not let me? Do I have to do I have to be reasonable with the temperature I set? Nothing's happening. Down low? Oh, come on. What? I wanted to explode a hand. Where will there possibly be a clue in here that indicates the temperature to set a human body part to, you know? Just doesn't seem a, like a likely thing to come up. I can't interact with anything in that screen, so I don't even I don't even really know what it's there for. Oh, do I need to is is this tell me anything about thawing a body? I don't think it does. I just picked a random number and it saw that was not really a puzzle. That was just weird trial and error. I was right, the hand was holding something after all. Found the orange key. Number two. <laughs> oh, there's totally that orange door. So that's that's simple. We haven't even found a use for the rusty key yet. I'm just hoping the thing isn't on this side. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, rusty key. All right, not the key I thought would be used for this particular door. Ooh, hello, crows. Go to hell, crows. <laughs> I thought maybe it would have something to, like, I don't know, it was just funny after the thing with the J's and the 
the cardinals, the robins. All of a sudden, we got all these more birds. It's a shoe. I think it's one of Vanessa's pumps. I remember her wearing these at the reunion. What's it doing out here? Then you're not going to take that? You love collecting random objects. And this is one you actually know the owner of. You could give it back to her and be, be helpful. Oh, gross. It actually makes sloppy sounds when you walk through that little puddly looking bit. And the only, only thing to do is go into the bloody door. I'm sure things will be delightful in here. Can't see a goddamn thing. Okay. It's a crumpled cigarette packet with one of the flaps torn off. I've seen this brand before. Inside the pack is a handwritten note in ballpoint point pen. It says, meet V, 10 p.m. Saturday. So something was going to happen tonight. Is that V? It's been a little while now, but from the, the section where it was like the two different, the age of the kids, like your youngest, my oldest, that whole puzzle, that was like Victor or something. There's a whole collection of discount brand beer bottles here. They smell stale, and their yellow labels are faded. Someone's been drinking this slop here for quite some time. It's a workplace safety poster. It tells employees to wear the right equipment for the job. What kind of equipment would help me now? Not much, I bet. I don't know, a hard hat might be helpful. Definitely don't want a reflective vest. Shelf is crammed. It's full, of, uh, full as it possibly can be with solvents, tools, and dirty old rags. There's a box labeled rope, but I don't see any rope inside. Someone's been tied up or hung, then, is my guess. Door has a lock, but it's been busted open. Oh, it smells awful in here. I found another piece of that torn-up letter I found in Grace's father's locker. It's from the local newspaper. It's typed out on official letterhead and very brief. Thank you for your newest letter and for the photo. As we've stated before, however, we cannot run an investigation based, based solely on hearsay. The letter is signed by Vivian. Of course she runs the paper now. So she was probably the one setting up the meeting then, kind of doing something off the books a little bit. The photo this mentions must be that circled image of Jack I found in the break room. Grace's father kind of went off the hook and is trying to track down someone to blame. Whoa, this is a pretty serious looking homemade lab set up here. Looks like someone was manufacturing drugs. There are wrappers, old medicine bottles, old lab supplies, some of which look like they came from the high school. Hold on, there's some kind of letter here. Whoever wrote it looked like they could barely hold a pen. You tell me to stop, but how can I? What am I supposed to do? She's gone. Now I'm gone. That's not the alternating uppercase lowercase that it seems like Grace's father has been written writ writing in. It's not my fault I loved her. I didn't ask to. Mm, this is more likely to come from the guy she was also seeing then, not Flynn. This whole damn town died the day that she died. There's, uh, oh, achievement downward spiral. Yeah, a lot of people seem to have been very strongly impacted by all of this. What? It's Vanessa's purse. What's it doing way out here? There's another orange key. Orange key number one. It looks very worn. The number one is written on its head. Got, got myself a nice set. There's a note scrawled on the back of a faded piece of newsprint. It's written ballpoint in ballpoint pen. Smarten up. I can't keep covering for you. So they were probably working together, like her and Grace's father, maybe. These are pill bottles, but the labels don't make any sense. I think they were reused. Inside the bottles are some kind of crystalline rocks? Wait, there's some kind of homemade drugs. Oh. So this could be why some of the characters seem to be going quite crazy and aggressive in things. Well, I have two of these orange keys now. These shelves are covered with years of accumulated grime, dust, and dirt. It looks like there was some struggle. Uh, several of the cans and boxes on the shelf have been knocked over. Sometimes my brain just reads the words out of order a little bit. <laughs> makes me throws off the flow of the sentence and I have to recover like that all right ignoring all that stuff gotta go find where to plug in these two keys seems like uh, my major thing I gotta worry about right now nothing at the far end here okay I guess I gotta go back to the room where the monster is running around 
past these crows again. There's steel, shoe stealing crows. They're all gone. It's a shoe. I think it's Vanessa's. What's it doing out here? Yeah, that hasn't changed. Several, there's several V characters. There's Vanessa, Vivian, Victor, and I guess they're doing that as a fun way of like when you're trying to solve the mystery and put together the pieces. I think, I think Twin Peaks did that as well. It's been a little while since I watched it, but it's like every character in that show had the same initials. And so like there's tiny little hints here and there. Oh, the two keys, of course. Makes, uh, complete sense now that I now that I'm back here and seeing it again there's a one and a two and a open the door <laughs> the perfect drive okay I've got the panel open I probably need to press these buttons in a sequence to do whatever whatever this does good thing I wrote all that down two three and four and random green looking button presumably this big button is the start it seems like it worked there wasn't, there wasn't really anything indicating. Oh, I guess it kind of connects. I didn't. It, it could have been one of the switches or whatever. It just looks so enticing. I heard something unlock far off, it says. I wonder what that opened. Uh, so, I've slightly lost track as well now, too. What else in all of this was... Oh, no, I, I've been in here. What haven't I been in? What has been locked up until this point. Oh, okay, I've gone way back to where the saw was and the bot. Now there's nothing here. Hmm. Damn. I can't I can't recall where there was a, a previously locked room that I hadn't at some point already found a way into. Kind of exiting that entire lower area there. Do I have to go all the way back out here? I'm not heading out till I find answers. This back door? The safety switch release must have worked. How did you possibly hear that unlock? That is a million miles away. <laughs> it's very unreasonable that you scoped that out. One of the old industrial window panes has been left open here. There's a chilly draft coming from inside. There also looks like there's blood going up and out. Somebody could have climbed in using these stacks of wood to get down. In or out. E oh, yep, that's where the rope ended up. There are deep bloody scratch marks embedded in the wood. They look like they could have come from fingernails. How are people so good at scratching things into things in this game or in movies in general? My nails hurt if I'd scratch anything. <laughs> like, can't can't picture getting being able to do it, you know? Yeah, I kind of saw that before the scare was able to happen. Oh my god, no. Oh, there's the, the blue blue shoe. Yeah, it's Vanessa. She's been strung up from the scaffolding by her neck. Oh god, it looks like she's still twitching now and again. Am I crazy or did I just see that? Maybe that was the blood dripping was all I saw. Her face is swollen from being strangled. It looked like it did it again. And her eyes, oh god, her eyes just keep staring out. She's still wearing what she was at the reunion. But one of the shoes is missing. Oh my god, Vanessa. Why did you have to come here tonight? And what did you do to deserve this? I can't take the sight of her or the smell. I have to get out of here. No, but I want to know what's going on on the other side there. Uh, it's just rusty as hell. Just more rusty shit going on in this in this place. Absolutely everything is as rusty as can be. Oh, maybe we sh should climb out the window ourselves. Holly! Flynn, holy shit, thank god you're okay. Are you hurt? I'm fine, really. Just a bit more banged up than usual. I can still walk. What's wrong? You look upset. Yeah, man. Shit's fucked tonight. Where have you been? Why are you not upset? Flynn, it's... it's Vanessa. What do you mean? What's going on in that room? No, don't go in there. Why not? Let's just get out of here, okay? Okay, fine. You can fill me in on the way. On the way to where? Come on, we have to get to the library. Man, you guys gotta communicate better. You are not on the same page right now, and it's just causing all kinds of confusion. Jeez. Chapter 7. Piecing things together. 4.15 in the morning at this point. Maybe starting at the first peaks of, like, a dawn. Which is maybe a little bit of a relief, but we're still a little ways away from it. This is feeling like we're finally together... We have a lot of pieces of this puzzle. 
the name of the chapter here, I'm starting to think that this might be the end. So all finally comes together. It's been set up really well. There's an interesting combination of things going on here where it's like, is it supernatural? Isn't, isn't it? Uh, who's really guilty here? Why are they targeting the people that they're targeting? Is Finn, Flynn uh, blameless? Like, where is Grace's body? Like, there's a lot going on. Uh, I feel like it's been built up very well at this point. And I don't really know if I should have been able to figure it out myself. That's the, that's a well done mystery is where the pieces are there. And if you really sat down and did the red strings on the wall, you could figure it out. I'm very curious if this game has given us enough to know precisely what's going on. Uh, it would be, it's always curious to look back in hindsight after completing a game like this. But yeah, looking forward to, to what might be the conclusion. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you again with more Worse Than Death soon.